Hello everybody, Zat here with Strict Toaster, and this is our season finale, episode 12 of our design duel. Say hello, Strict. Hello, Strict. So, I was fixing my sound issues, and Strict was thinking I was recording, and, um, well, not his fault. I told him I was recording, and he did a bit of editing to his city. Uh, it's not a lot. I can show you guys. I, there used to be a curve here, some industry, it basically bulldozed everything, and now it looks very grid-like. Which don't don't worry. I'm gonna make this look cool. I also increase uh, the density of this road. It used to be medium, now it's high, and I place this park. That's it. Moving on. And now my sound's working, so we're good to go. I'm glad. And I'm glad for you. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Um, Let me just speed up because. Oh yeah, it's, it's no time. This game to full speed. Another 40 minutes, and then we're done. And I still need to build my central park. I think I know what I'm going to do this time. I have community park here. Community park here. And hopefully this fits. I want some basic parks. Is it the big one? Oh. Oh, that might be too tight. Yeah, they don't quite fit. Smaller one? Oh no, I keep tiny. hitting the Windows key. It's also tiny. Let's put one of these and one of these. And you said I could put trees on top of these parks, right? Uh, yes. The low wolf parks. Yes, you can plant parks on top of those. Let me test that. Try it. Oh, yeah. Why would I lie to you <laughs> in terms of aesthetics? Uh, that's okay for Central Park. It's nothing amazing, but I feel kind of limited what I can do with these parks. Well, at least, in, I mean, if you or if you were only going to plant trees, now at least uh, you can get some happiness out of it. I am going to build a nuclear power plant. Yay! I can bulldoze mine. I don't know why would I do You're gonna that. You're going to bulldoze your nuclear power plant? No, my coal plant. I also realized a moment ago that I actually did have a trade depot, and now I have two. So I'm going to remove this one, because it's going to be kind of in the way of my nuclear power plant. Boom, I just surpassed 50,000 sims. 50, I'm only at 20,000. That doesn't make my sim look good, but whatever. It's an achievement, and I like it. Uh, and yes, I need to blow up that avenue I've already tested, and the nuclear power plant does not fit in that space. Wow, I need more jobs now. Oh, let's build it. Come on. You can do it, Rhodes. Ah, uh, whatever, that's fine. Well, if I build it there, I can't build. Uh oh, I can't build the turn there if I build it that close. Okay. Let's move it back a bit. How much room do I need? Probably not a good idea to mix residential and industrial, right? What the? Um, only if you want really low wealth um, residential. Yeah, I don't think I want that. There's too much pollution near my neighborhood. I do want them to be happy, so I'm going to plop a park with a... Um, Convenient attached parking. <laughs> I love that description. Oops. Nice, that fits perfectly. The trees with parking. Whoops. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. Nuclear for everybody. Let's leave some room to build the extensions if I need it. I'm building it on the water because a lot of real nuclear power plants are on the water because they need all that water for cooling. And it's actually right next to my water plant, which I should check, which is good. That's good. I'm planting a lot of trees uh, in my industrial area just to see if I can reduce the pollution all of it. 
Even though I'm happily blowing all that smoke to her city. Ooh, that's a lot of jobs. So many people driving into this power plant. Oh yeah, it takes like 200 sims or something like that. Wow, that means they're gonna have a... even more residential demand. Uh, there's a lot of sims uh, committing out of my city to yours. Yeah. About. Uh, they better 20... be educated. Oh, they are. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're not universally educated, only community. <laughs> Well, I'm uh... university educated. <laughs> that was such a snobby comment. <laughs> um, so, did you blow up your power plant? Not yet. Are you providing energy for all of us? Yeah. 200 I mean, honestly, megawatts. I don't have the uh, reason to oh, bulldoze my power money. plant. How much money am I spending on this? 800 bucks. Uh, maybe we can shut it off. For Actually, first I need to buy power from you. <laughs> Otherwise, that would be a big problem. Yeah, please do, because I'm actually losing money now. White Sale does not have any power to sell. It's probably going to take a moment to kick in. Are you in cheetah speed? Uh, I am no, now. No, of course not. I slowed it down to watch all the people going into the power plant. Actually, no, I was. I was. It just went back down when I went to region view. Because I want to make sure I'm not buying power from you, even though it probably won't matter anyways. There we go. Beautiful. Electricity. Okay. Well, I got my central park. I've got my nuclear power plant. I think I'm done. You're done. Like that, yeah. I'll just sit here and um, wait for you. <laughs> Cities are never done. Uh, I could probably mess with the density over here. Need more high wealth shoppers. How's this school doing? Zero students. I think everybody's going to university. Um, I feel like I should build an overpass just to have an overpass somewhere. <laughs> Just for the sake of overpassing things. Yeah, I mean, overpasses are cool, right? They're very cool, yeah. But I don't have sections of the city I need to link together since... Everyone has nice, easy access everywhere. How do you feel about the latest update in terms of the new AI pathfinding agent, whatever? Um, I don't really know. I mean, it seems like the cars more they spread out more better. yeah like they actually drive to different parts of the city before all the cars well okay the um the service vehicles are definitely better because they actually go to where it's needed especially the garbage trucks because before i had some major garbage issues nothing would get picked up maybe it's driving in circles now they actually find they the garbage and, yeah, yeah get rid of it and they usually pick one side of the city and just take care of it all. Uh, with the cars, I think it's basically the same thing. They don't all just follow each other. Because before, you know, if there was one big factory that had a bunch of jobs, everyone would drive to that factory. And then they would fill up and then they'd all turn around and go to a different factory. Now that they can reserve those jobs before they take off, they'll actually drive to different parts of the city. So you see people taking left and right turns, not everyone just trying to take left turns. True. So it actually uses more lanes. Before, if you even had like you know a six-lane road, you would see one lane being used as everyone's trying to take a left turn. So it does definitely spread the traffic out. With that said, I've never really had really high population cities, so I've never really had a huge issue with traffic that much. I should go back to some of my higher population cities and take a look. While you were saying that, I broke my rule of zoning on avenues. Yeah? Yeah. Because I'm desperate right now. I'm desperate. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm just looking at my city and watching people walk around. That's what I did in my last episode. I should have not done that. So in this episode, I could have relaxed a bit more. Mm -hmm. Hurry abstract. 
Uh, I feel like this neighborhood needs a touch of something. A touch of something. A touch of that for your neighborhood. How can I increase the density of this? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, they're almost there. Okay, making a little push. A little push. Maybe a barbecue thingy. Yeah, that will make them happier. Sort of. Why are these guys so unhappy? What's wrong? Awesome barbecue spot. Overlooking the city. Barbecuing over the city? Yep. Oh right, this area is very inefficient in its layout. Ah, uh, these big buildings. Hmm. Like, if this built, like, two feet to the left, you could fit another building in here. But no. No. If I move this park over here... Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if I can do that. Although at the same time, I don't want a big wall of buildings. I kind of like them spaced out like that. It's just weird having all these giant grass patches between buildings. And plant trees between them. Yeah, I mean, in real life, it would be actually amazing to have buildings kind of separated by all these little forests, but <laughs> there aren't cities that look like that, so it looks kind of weird in Simpsons. Uh, in some suburban areas, I mean, if you go to like Las Vegas or like cities like that, they kind of look... I mean, they don't have forests in between <laughs> them, of course, especially in Vegas, but uh, maybe they have fake forests. Um, plastic trees. Fake plastic trees. In my neighborhood, there's a... Uh, I live in a, in a neighborhood in LA that, that has green areas between condominiums. So I guess it's kind of like that. They, we don't have tall buildings in this part of the city, but we definitely have some green spaces in between. Now there's so much construction in my city. I have a lot of tall buildings and education problems. I don't know how to resolve this low skill problem, man. University? Uh, I have community college. From your city could drive over to my university, right? Yeah, but... Uh, they probably go to college first. Maybe probably, if you remove yeah, I, all of your colleges. I only have one, oh. and no schools and none, anything else. Like, everyone is driving to the community college, and for some reason, it's not enough. I don't get it. Should we start a great work? <laughs> okay, great work in the last episode? Sure, <laughs> yeah. why not? I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out what I can do. So, are you buying my power? Uh, I am, indeed. Okay. I'm not losing as much money. Oh, I'm selling plastic. Oh, I didn't set up my other depot thingers. Export, export. Make some money. I don't really need money. Have your 1,000th worshiper attend services at House of Worship. That was a... Oh, what's it called? Not an award. You know what I mean? An achievement. I, I do not know what you mean. I just got an achievement. It's a nice building. I want to see it. I want to see the building. Well, against all odds, I'm actually not that far away from being done on this city. Oh, yeah? You cut, yeah. Catching up? Yep. Just need some more trees here and there. City beautification, if you will. Oops. I like that building. I mean, I must say, having a non-completely flat uh, map, it's a bit challenging. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're obsessed about goddamn slopes. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised you picked it. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was going to be an interesting challenge. In fact, I, I have made 
cities that I was really proud of uh, on really mountainous areas. But here it's, I don't know, I guess it just didn't... I guess actually that the problem is that I'm used to play in sandbox mode where money is no object so I can bulldoze everything a million times just you know just right. the way I like it. Uh, here yeah. it's a whole nother it's a whole nother game. I rarely play in sandbox mode. I get kind of lost. I'm like I can build anything. What what do I build first? I can build anything. I need I need structure. I need rules. I need someone to say that you can only build two buildings. Choose one. And then I'm like, I know how to make that cool. Think carefully. Sweet, I'm getting some other, some more taller buildings. Oh, that's only medium density. Whoops. I keep wanting to ask the viewers what I should build next, but they won't. Nope, be able those to are not the rules. <laughs> You're gonna be breaking the rules. Well, it's not like they can tell me because this is the last episode. That's yeah, that's true also. But if you do that, I will win instantly. Really? Uh, I don't know. It just vote. made out that rule. I didn't and sign I think that it's contract. Awesome. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's a verbal contract. <laughs> everyone, everyone on the internet, just listen to it. Couldn't find shops or parks. Why are you, are you kidding me? I'm just Wait. gonna show people cool angles of my city. Try to entice them that this is the other one. <laughs> uh, Slow actually, you're right. There's, here. there's no commercial here. Okay. Slow pans across the city. There will be now. This neighborhood's weird. It's, it's almost completely cut off from downtown, but which is good for traffic. What's the what's the latest update on your population? Twenty three, eight ninety seven. Uh, huh. that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I was gonna say something bad about it, but <laughs> you decided Didn't to be nice for once. Anything. Yes. Wow, I have so many jobs available now. How come you don't have skilled workers? There's a freaking university next door. Freaking university, man. There's a semi-empty community college indoors, so I don't get it. Maybe they're they're hitting a lot of traffic getting here. I don't know. These people are crazy. Crazy. Okay, I want some more trees. I want basically I want to put trees on all my streets. That makes sense. I want these so nice. Center. I just built a school of business for no reason. Well, you're gonna make a lot more money. Yeah. Problem is that uh, you're not gonna be able to use that money for anything. I'm actually losing money because it costs money to maintain that thing, I think. Yeah, a thousand an hour. Um, and I don't really have that much commercial. Whatever, I've got too much money as is. Oh. I'm sorry that you have so much money. You want some? Need some help? Uh, no, I'm okay. I have enough money. I just need more time. Can can you send me some time? <laughs> time is money. Time is money. It's true, but not the other way around. Maybe if I send you enough money, you could bribe the um, viewers into voting for you. That would be awesome. <laughs> I don't need to bribe my viewers. They already know my city is the best. Uh, too bad they're all <laughs> that. Wrong. That comment, that comment right there, just cost me this, <laughs> this stupid duel. <laughs> stupid duel. Everyone's gonna be like, "Don't tell me what to think." I'm voting for Zat just because. Spite we you. We hate you, strict coaster. S strict coaster. <laughs> yes. I'm put <laughs> drinks on you. I'm gonna put my drinks on you, Mr. Strict Coaster. Why have these guys not upgraded at all? You've been ready to expand for years. Years? Yeah, it's <laughs> year three. Years works. Um, you probably just need a little bit more happiness here. 
So this is going to be a pool of parks. Parks are awesome. Parks are awesome! <laughs> well, don't all upgrade at once. <laughs> Straight to high mansions. High mansions? High wealth mansions. High mansions. High mansions. Oh, I wouldn't want to build a low mansion. It might get flooded or something. Uh, random parks that don't fit. Does, does having a university in your city affect my industry somehow? Not really, right? I don't know. Um, well, I'm happy to say that thanks. my industry hasn't exploded in a while. <laughs> the um, volleyball court <laughs> looks more like they're playing Pong. <laughs> Ball's just going straight back and forth. Actually, yeah, if you look at it from above, it looks just like Pong. They should have a little mini game where you can play Pong on the volleyball court. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> you can tell I'm bored. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm 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 being a a pain in your in my design duel. In your time. <laughs> um another cool building going up. Low skill. How can I improve this? Could it be that maybe worker footage? Uh, I haven't seen the knowledge network uh, pink line in a while. I don't know if it's a bug in the game or it's a something going on in my computer. Um, hmm, I don't see mine either. Oh, so it's definitely something weird with the game. Maybe I thought I saw it earlier. Okay, I want to put a new community college done. Actually, I'm going to put it right next to the garbage dump. Doesn't the pink line reset every day, though? Oh, oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe you're right. But it's pretty late in the day for... Wait, I should be looking... Yeah, you look at the tech map to see that, right? Yes. Also, I have a question. Does it help to have two bus stops on each side of the road? I feel like it doesn't. Uh... I don't know. I haven't really experimented with it with uh, Update 7. Before, it definitely wouldn't, because you'd have all the bluses flock to one, and then they'd all flock to the other, and they'd probably yeah. go back to the first one. But now it might actually be a bit sensible. It's probably best to have just the one, because you'd rather have the Sims have to cross the street than have your buses go in circles. Hmm. I mean, in real life, you need to have routes going different directions, but true in this the buses are like taxis they'll take you wherever you want to go sort of that's more like roulette you get on and the bus just drives randomly around the city and hopefully you can get off somewhere near <laughs> a roulette <laughs> i like that okay maybe i don't want this whole area of factories maybe i want this to be all residents yeah that's what i'm gonna do that's fine There's so much pollution here let's build some more industry since you blew up all yours. Can I squeeze some parks in there? Who would have thought that I would do like totally new neighborhoods in the last episode? <laughs> I would. <laughs> yeah, you know me. Oh, this is totally a cute road. Oh. Oh, hazmat is going to explode next to where people live now. I'm going to put some trees down. <laughs> I like the contrast in that. Oh my god, my city is exploding. I'm planting trees. 
building fire, building fire, oh my god, all my industry is dead, <laughs> basically. I think hazmats have to do with, are related to the lack of education. Edumacations? Edumacations? Probably. They keep spilling those toxic chemicals on the floor and not sure how they work. So okay, it's 12 p.m. and I still don't see the pink line. Yeah, it sounds sure. like it's gone. It's gone. I wonder if that was on purpose or if it's been an error. Because there's been a bunch of little updates recently, right? Little fixes. Yeah. They might have accidentally messed that up. I definitely need more trees because people are now living where pollution still lives. <laughs> the pollution like ground, lives? Yeah, there's a lot of ground pollution here. But it does, it's okay, you know why? Because it doesn't look like the dirt is not that brown. <laughs> so it still looks good for the sake of... Just tell your citizens this. that. There's no, pollution all over the place. Well, the dirt's not <laughs> that brown. <laughs> well, I'm not talking about the citizens per se. I'm talking about... Because this is a design duel. Design. So that means if it doesn't look brown, uh -huh. it looks good. Sure. Oh, no. What I just did... Oh, I just took a screenshot accident. We we unlocked the arcology. Oh yeah. Let's build it. Let's build it in five minutes. Let's build it right now. Let's go start it. No. Where is it? Where's our? There we go. How much does it cost? Not approved. Not approved? Oh, it's approved in mine. It costs. Oh, let me tell you. dollars. Oh, this is a city. Great works. It costs. Let's see. A million dollars. Yeah. I don't have that's not too expensive. I have point seven million. Point seven? I have two million. But oh. I mean I can do it, but like we're not gonna be able to see it. I'm starting Maybe. to get I'm... traffic. Do you do you have um go back to my city. Do you have that doesn't look so bad. Do you have a like your recycling plan, is it producing a lot of plastic, metals, alloys? How's that coming? It's good. It's working perfectly. Why do you ask? Uh, Cause maybe we can use that for the great works, but it's not gonna be enough. I'm not gonna dump all my money into that in the last minute. What if my entire, what if I get like a- Disaster? Disaster, like meteor strike blows up half my city and I need to put out all those fires with my one fire station and I have no money. I have a question for you, Sad, another one. How weird would it be to, not weird, but how efficient would it be to put a clinic right where a lot of pollution used to be, or still is, actually? Does pollution cause that much sickness? Uh, yeah, but basically I only have one clinic and it's full. <laughs> so I have a very sick neighborhood next to it. Well, once I had a nuclear meltdown in the city. Oh no, zombies, I have zombies in the city. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> you got okay, a good police no. force? What? You have a good police, police force? force? No, not really. Do I need... Is that the solution to zombies? Yes. Police? Yeah. Okay, then I'm putting a lot of police cars Shoot right now. down the sickness. Put a... <laughs> Shoot down the sickness. I like that. As I was saying, I had a nuclear meltdown in my city, which makes all of the, the workers ill. So it was like 200 people sick. So what I did, I just built a clinic right next door. And then everyone just ran right over to the clinic. Did it work? Yeah. The tree Wait, but when you have a meltdown, doesn't that pretty much ruin your entire city? Mm, no. There's a nuclearized area around the plant, so just kind of like a couple blocks. And if it's in the corner of your city, it's not that bad. But it was just a city where I was messing around. Hmm. Where are the zombies? Brilliant executives. How do you see zombies? Zombies. Uh, zombies. If you're quick, I think if you hit spacebar or click on the uh, notification, it'll bring you to them. But if you're too slow, then you don't know. Just look for the green glowing lights. Don't they glow green? Maybe under the health part? Sure. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Okay, let's see. So they usually come out of the clinic, right? Oh, I do. Oh, yeah, I got a zombie. There we go. I just unlocked the arcology. 
Looking for brains. Arcology? Good. So how much more time do we have, Strict? Uh, we have about 10 more minutes. No, we But I'm don't. done. I'm basically I'm basically not doing anything. I'm letting my city run with zombies. Yeah. My stats are pretty good. I have a lot of jobs and not a lot of people working. In fact, I have a lot of people commuting out of my city for some reason. Well, I was going to save it for another episode, but I'm thinking maybe we should look at each other's cities now. Give a, a little tour. A little tour? To our sure. Viewers. So they can properly vote. All right, so let me. I'm gonna come over to your city since you have zombies. Okay, come over to my city. It's nighttime here. I'm sure, that'll that'll help. Oh, <laughs> burned. Zombies are cool, right? Everyone loves zombies. Just keep People your are city protesting with zombies all the time. Too much crime, they say. Well, now I have a lot of police cars, and they're Zombie all on duty. Whoa, where'd all these buildings come from? Those weren't there last episode. Wow, devoured by zombies. Holy shit. What what buildings? What are you looking at? You're downtown. Half of those weren't there. Oh, oh downtown? Ago. Yeah. It has a... Well, I'm demolishing everything because they've been devoured by zombies. I thought you were going to give me a tour of your city. Well, yeah, give me a second. Let me demolish <laughs> all the abandoned buildings. <laughs> so, let's see. I think... I think I'm done. This house. I don't see. Oh, there's one event. Zombies building. crumble from sunlight. I oh, because they only leave at night. Ha ha ha. It's funny is that I can actually just blow up your city. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is what it looked like when uh, I showed up. That these buildings are all blown up. You might wanna. You might wanna reload my city. Maybe I don't know. No, I only just I'm... saw one abandoned building and I blew it up. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. Um. So let's see. Yeah, I have a pretty dense um, downtown area, if you will. Yeah. It's mixed zoning, as you can see if you turn the zones. Basically, there's commercial right at the entrance of every neighborhood. Oh, yeah. And that helps seem... I mean, it helps a lot with traffic and just seems walk there. Uh, it changed a lot since I started. Like, the grid... It used to be a greedy grid. <laughs> greedy grid. A greedy grid. Um, but I sort of breaked it a little bit. Um, that so if you look, do you see the city hall? Um, yes. To the northeast of the city hall, there's a new neighborhood where industry used to be. Oh yeah. Which, if you turn on the data layer for ground pollution, you will see where the industry <laughs> used to be exactly. Ground. But it's it's getting better. Oh yeah. Because I, I planted a lot of trees in it, and I put a clinic, so hopefully it wouldn't be too much and. It, in a couple of years, I mean, we're obviously not going to see it in this episode. That will be taken care of. And now the city, I also extended the industry, uh, go to the power plant. Right next to the power plant, I just plant, plopped some factories. Oh, Where's I just your, oh, sure. over here. I forgot you moved it. Yeah. And, um, and there's also a new... On the other side of the city. If I had that another... power plant, I'd repurpose it into a library. That would be awesome yeah. if you can repurpose buildings. Anyways, what am I looking at? Uh, so now go to the other corner of the city where the garbage dump is. Yeah. That's a whole new neighborhood. And it has a tunnel going around it. It's an interesting little area. Oh, I see. And uh, oh, go look at the... Do you see the fire, the barbecue pavilion? Yeah. The red one? Overlook that the city. I think it's awesome. Oh it has yeah, an awesome view of the city and factories. It's a, it's kind of weird that everyone's living next to the garbage dump here, but <laughs> it's a really interesting little neighborhood. You know what? They don't care because the smoke's blowing towards your city. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying that, but also if you look at the land value, I'd be more old. annoyed with all the garbage trucks leaving in the morning at 6 a.m. every day. That, yeah, and also <laughs> the buses because the shuttle bus stop is right next. To yeah. Them. In so fact, I, maybe you can put some low rent. More. It's important to have some uh, economy of housing in your city. Yep. You don't want to gentrify everything. I haven't checked. Have you checked your uh, statistics in terms of, uh, like, for example, buses or I don't Not know what yet. else you have? Because I just checked mine and there's a 51 minute wait. I just popped some more buses. Ooh, yeah, that's that pretty one. bad. All right, well, let's look at your next region or next area. How about your shoreline? Yeah, so my shoreline, that's that's cool. Uh, my shoreline is composed mainly, mainly of uh, high wealth. 
you can turn on the land view data layer and you'll see that everything is super green yeah there's two random <laughs> um medium density buildings that actually look really cool there i don't know they I, and they have been there for a while medium density or high saying? density um i'm sorry medium density medium wealth oh i see the brick buildings oh the two little brick buildings yeah those look fine yeah. there yeah that looks i feel like awesome. this area could have been they could have done something a little bit more here like a uh, better use of the space um i don't know just the mix of buildings feels a little weird <clears throat> but uh well yeah. it's not like i had an option i mean this Oops. land it's kind of weird i see zombies in your city now um let's see what else uh, so I have the two community college, one next to the garbage dump, which apparently is a bit more successful than the other one, and the <laughs> other one right at the entrance of the city. This neighborhood feels a little empty too, by your entrance to the city. Yeah, because he has a weird, like, uh, the layout of the road is not the best. Yeah, well you could have upgraded this road and got some medium here maybe. I mean, it actually looks kind of nice, but if it was going to stay low density you could have probably brought the roads closer together. Maybe, yeah. Although I, I guess have a it keeps the problem. traffic down by the entrance. I have not too much density over here. Um, I like I like how this looks. I planted some trees around it. Um, yeah, it looks a bit weird because it looks empty, especially given the fact that the ground texture is not grass. It's more of a dirt. I think that's that okay. Make it. Yeah, it's okay. It's kind of um, more rustic which works for these sort of rustic houses. Yeah, but it doesn't look nice against the trees. Really? I feel, I don't know. Well, most forests I mean, actually don't have grass under them because the grass wouldn't get any it's, light. Yeah, that's that's very true. But the green makes everything look nice, I guess. That's why I try to keep my cities very greenish. Anyways, um, what else? We've also got sort of the neighborhoods by the cliffs here. Sort of little houses put up against the cliffs. Um, your um, sewage treatment plant. I feel like these neighborhoods oh, yeah, could have gotten yeah. a little bit more attention. Yeah, this one because I was I was leaving that space for expanding the sewage treatment treatment plant, which I just did actually. Right. Yeah, and also the water pump station. Um, it looks better if you continue the, following that medium density avenue. And right next to the tunnel, there's this little small neighborhood. Yeah. Two little parks. Maybe you can zone some houses oh, here. That's all right. They can zone yeah, I'm on the avenue. I'm zoning on the avenue just to fill that spot. I think it will look... No, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you won't be able to see it on your map. I think but... the city overall, um, like looking at everything all together, it looks really cool because it's really well sort of laid out. Although now that you have even more heavy density buildings in downtown, it feels a little weighted on that side. It's kind of nicer when there's sort of fewer of them, fewer of them. But overall, mm. each city has like a, a good weight to it um but when you look up close i feel like some neighborhoods could have used a bit more attention because they're just kind of like i mean you drew the roads well but the buildings and parks haven't really been fiddled with too much in some areas i think you spent too much time working on just the uh, eastern side of your city rebuilding it a few times probably yeah i mean this was the first part and i didn't have a lot of money when i weighed out the like the roundabout area Oh wow, you have a lot of traffic downtown. I do have a lot of traffic. Jeez. But I have more buses, so I'm guessing that's it's my help getting it. worse. <laughs> it's actually getting worse. Okay, strict. Final part, what's the coolest part of your city? The coolest part of my city? I'm actually really happy with the new neighborhood that I just did where the industry used to be. Up. Oh, oh, I see. Right next to City Hall. Yeah, this area is kind of um, nice. Yeah. And also, I'm happy with my high wealth neighborhood by the coast, with all the plop trees on the avenues and those two brick buildings. Oh yeah, I see. There. Oh yeah, you put some I wish, attention here. Yeah, I wish I wish more people would use the ferry terminal though. Cause right now it's zero, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I must say the the difference, like not having a completely flat map, doesn't help. Yeah, Especially, it's not working yeah. to your strengths. I mean, you could probably do some really cool stuff with roads and um, overpasses and tunnels and things, but uh, neither of us have really practiced on that too much. 
I mean, the now, overpass also, you have on the, um, the west side of your city by the the bay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. And also remember that when we started this, we weren't able to really do overpasses or tunnels. I, I mean, I had one that looked amazing, but it couldn't connect <laughs> it properly to anything. So, so now you have the tunnel, which works well. Now I have the tunnels. It's kind of skewed. I mean, those it needs polishing, but the game doesn't allow for that level of detail, I guess, right now. So we'll have to wait for patch 8, 9, I don't know. I kind of want to report that to Maxis, say, hey, I want to be able to have smoothen out all my roads. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like having weird slopes. I don't think that would be their highest priority. Probably not. Let's go look over at my city. All right. You rambled enough about yours. <laughs> let me let me have my people take a final look at my city. Don't don't watch Sat's video. Watch mine. Mine is better. <laughs> I'm selling my city better. <laughs> All right. Welcome to White Sail, where I'm losing a okay. bunch of money. It's loading. Do I have abandoned buildings? Some, someone, uh, I think it was on my latest uh, version of our design duel. Yeah. Someone posted a guide on how to watch both videos at the same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we yeah, have slightly was... different intros, which causes a different timing. Yeah. But I'm sure you people can figure it out. Um, so, let's see, where can we start? The area that I've kind of worked the most on is the neighborhood in the... Uh, Southwest, by the shore there. By the ferry terminal. Um. Well, southwest. to the well, the south, yes, the west side. Southwest. Oh, okay. Highway. So. Where. Uh, There's a soccer field. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I think this one came together pretty nicely. I really didn't know what to do over here, so I just kind of started drawing randomly, and I think it turned out. I like how it's sort of segmented off from the main avenue, but everyone can still yeah. get in from the uh, side avenue. I like the short tree road that you put to separate the roads. Yeah. And there's a nice little touch. Because I didn't want people taking shortcuts through that area. So I just put that in. And it was just kind of like a, maybe this will work and then it ended up turning out pretty neat. I got the same sort of thing going on right by the uh, highway itself. The highway entrance. It's a little neighborhood there off to the side with some trees separating them. By the highway entrance? Let's see. The city entrance. On the uh, west side. Oh, what, where your city hall is? Um, Kind of just south of that. South, south of, of the uh, baseball hall. field. I think Got it's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You originally Found saying it. that you thought the um, trees separating the roads were neat? Oh, yeah, this is perfect. I love it. You, ne you didn't left any streets, right? Everything is medium density, at least. Uh, yeah, I think I upgraded everything because I needed the population. Oh no, there's one stretch of road here. That's yeah, there's two some streets, streets by road. City Hall. This is an area I didn't really work with too much. I actually have a bunch of room right in front of City Hall where I could build some things. But I didn't really know what to do here. This is where I kind of started the city and it looked like the, uh, the weird Android. Moments, the Android, yeah. Yeah, you, you kind of bulldoze, now that I'm looking at it from above, you sort of bulldoze the north side, northeast side of the curve. Yeah, I got was... rid of that curve to specifically try to get rid of the Android phase. <laughs> um, but yeah, the... I like your I like your industry a lot. Wait, is this your industry? Yeah, yeah, I put that down early and it worked, so I just left it alone. I hadn't touched that since like the first couple episodes. I put in the recycling center and the nuclear plant and the pumping station. You're losing you're losing money. Yeah, it's fluctuating up and down. But I'm also yeah. selling all of my plastic and alloys and things from the recycling plant, so I'm actually still making money overall. I have low taxes. Yeah, that that doesn't help. Nah, it's fine. So let's see, you have a church here in the middle. Yeah. Just to bring this up. Is this the only one? That's the only church. I've got some more houses of worship. Um, in the first area we looked at, there's a, um, what's it called? The temple. Yeah, the temple. I found the... It. What is this? <laughs> I forget what religion that's related to. 
the temple, like, uh, like, uh, Asian? Yeah. Although I think there's a few different kinds that look like that, so I'm not gonna guess. I also have a modern temple, I think, down by the uh, high yeah, I'm wealth. Yeah, looking at it. The Scientology thing. Yeah, and this is close to what I wanted, where there was gonna be a bunch of taller buildings down by the shore, high wealth. I wanted it more like in a line along the um, the avenue, but it kind of ended up just kind of going square to the back, but it still works out. Oh, I think it's beautiful. I like the big green building right down by the shore, blocking everyone else's view. <laughs> and then the last building I really got was the um, one close to the city entrance. The uh, tall one? big tall glass commercial building. The one that says brilliant executives? Yeah. And I think that one works well there too. I don't normally like having too many tall buildings, but I like having them kind of scattered around, so it turned out well. And the nuclear power plant adds a certain coolness to the city too. Having that big billowing steam column. It's gonna say smokestack, but it's not a smokestack, it's a cooling tower. Yeah, it's a cooling tower, yeah, absolutely. We should have I feel like we should have taken advantage of the rail now that I look at it. Ah. Don't need it. There's not that much traffic. But no, I know. What I am sad about is my Central Park. It's it looks lackluster. It looks like what? It's lackluster. It did, could have been cooler somehow, but I think it would have needed more space. Uh, it would have would have been awesome if you could put symmetric, um, large field with parking parks, because now we have like one parking spot facing one direction. I don't mind that it's asymmetrical, but. I do. <laughs> well, you can vote against me. Vote uh, the, I, I probably will. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to even go vote uh, in, in favor of me. I'm going to vote against you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an option? But yeah. Speaking uh, of which, uh, we'll both put in the, the description below the link to the 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 votes, the uh, poll, and choose which city you like the best. We'll close it in about a couple weeks. Maybe a week, yeah. and we'll announce the winner, and the winner will receive what? Uh, um, oh, a, a cot. A cookie. <laughs> a cookie. Appreciation. Uh, can we can we send a cookie by mail? <laughs> like, would that be sanitary? Uh, I don't know. I don't have to eat it. I'll frame it and put it in like a little glass case and be like, a sap cookie. Coolest city. And it really confuse anyone who walks by. <laughs> that would be interesting, a framed cookie for designing the best SimCity. Yeah, you have to mail me a cookie now, because I've already won. What? 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 <laughs> Dude, I rebuilt my city in less than 30 minutes. I, I need some credit for that. Hey, my city didn't have any tall buildings until the last couple episodes. But, shut up. <laughs> we both pulled it together at the end. Yeah. And made the coolest city win. Let's leave it was at I that. supposed to say something? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's leave it at that. So vote in the um, poll, and don't forget to send us your uh, screenshots of your city if you want to join us in our uh, multiplayer region okay. that's coming up at uh, Urban Design Lodge at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you all next time. Adios, muchachos.